Okay, so let's talk about the midterm. Some of you did fine. Others of you struggled. And I just want to, you know, have a candid conversation about this or at least kind of explain where I'm coming from and a little bit about how we've set things up to make sure that you succeed in this class. So one thing I want you to keep in mind right away is this number, two. 2% 2 of your grade. That's it. That's all the mid that midterm was. You got a zero, you lost 2% of your grade. You got 50, you lost 1% of your grade. You got a 75, you lost 0.5% of your grade. It's just not that important. It's not, it doesn't matter that much. People are, you know, uh, contacting me saying, can I still get an A in the class? Yeah, you can. In fact, you could bomb all the midterms to get an A in this class. Um, why? Why do we do things this way? Um, you know, the, the way that we've designed the grading for this class. So some of you, I would really encourage, like, please actually go read the syllabus, um, or at least look through the grading section of the syllabus, because we have set things up in this course in, you know, a very intentional way, particularly when it comes to assessment. I want you to learn this material. And to do that, I want you to do the work. That's the only way. So in service of that, we do give these weekly assessments. The weekly assessments, we give you drops, we give you prep materials, we're giving you lots of uh, practice, we have you know, solution walkthroughs for all of the homework problems that I would go back and review. Um, you know, we have lots of chances to reach out to the course staff, get help, get supported. You know, um, what we're here to do is really just support your efforts um, and also to incentivize them. So look, this is incredibly cool stuff. And what you are learning is a skill. And it's a superpower that you will be able to apply to do things in the future. You won't be done after this semester. You'll have to keep learning, but that's okay. But getting started, getting up that initial part of the learning curve where it can be a little steep, you know, we try to smooth it out as much as we can. But there's a few places where it's like, yeah, yeah it, it peaks up a little bit. Getting up that is not that easy, right? I mean, there are resources about how to program all over the internet. You can find them anywhere. You can do this for free. And yet very few people actually do. Too few people, right? Too few people to take advantage of all the computing power and resources that we have and all the opportunities that you have as a programmer and as a, as a computer scientist to change the world. There's too few of us. Even though there's all these great resources out there to help learn this material, why? Because it's not always easy. It takes some getting started, trust me. You put enough time and energy into this, you will get to the point where I won't have to teach you anymore because you will be dying to learn this stuff. You'll be teaching yourself. You'll be finding out new stuff. You'll be learning as you go. Like that's where this goes into a place where you are a self-sustaining, uh, you know, computer scientist and you will find out a new stuff on your own because you're excited about it and you've seen the power to change things and to do really cool stuff and to create beautiful new things. Um, but my job is to get you started, right? To give you enough of a push where you start to pick up that momentum. And that's also why the entire course staff is here, this community that surrounds this class. We're here to help get you going, right? And that's the hardest part. You know, once you start to pick up speed, we can let go and off you go. But we're here to kind of like push you out of the starting gate and start to get you some momentum so that, you know, eventually you can move off on your own. To do that, look, I'm gonna use these assessments to, to, to lure you forward, right? I know that you guys want to get good grades. Some of you are a little too into that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I know what you want. And so I'm going to use that 2% on the midterm, which apparently is enough, even though it's not very much, to get you to prepare. Because if you prepare, you did it. That's all there is. Like literally, if I could just measure the amount of time you actually spent working on prepping for the midterm, and if I could give you a score based on that, I would can't. And so instead, I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe I'll keep thinking about how to do that. But in the meantime, what we do is we use these assessments to encourage you to get the work done, to put in the time, to put in the energy, to learn the material, to master stuff, to review, to practice. That's it. Um, let's talk about grades for a minute. We do not assign letter grades to individual assessments in this class. So nobody got an F on yesterday's midterm. No one got an F on the homework because they didn't do it. No one is gonna get an F on any of the parts of the machine project. You get one grade at the end of this class 
And students that make it through get good grades and go on to do very well in other classes. So, you know, again, that's, that's one thing. The exam, the midterm, is one very small part of a much bigger story when it comes to your overall grade in the class. And again, I designed this system, and the reason why the grade component is set up the way it is, is to reward people who do the work, who put in the day-to-day -day grind that is gonna get this done for you. That's why the homework is for 30% of your grade, it's something you do every day. That's why the MP, which we're gonna get started on in a couple of weeks, is worth 30% of your grade. Because again, it's something that you have to do incremental, week by week, day by day. This course, the grading, the assessment, is designed to reward effort. It's not designed to reward brilliance in two minutes, right? So if you think about how you earn your grade in this class, how you construct your grade, you do it day by day. You don't do it by showing up you know, at the final exam after not sleeping for two days, cramming all the material into your brain and then vomiting out all over a piece of paper and then collapsing immediately and, you know, forgetting all of it two days later. That doesn't work. That's why we don't do it. You know, there's some courses that are still giving final exams that are worth 40% of the grade. That's insane. Like, they, all you're going to do is cram it and it will immediately be lost within a few days. So we want you to retain this material and to do that, you got to do it every day. It's a little different than how other courses work. Um, I'm okay with that, but this is very intentional. So anyway, all to say, no matter how you did on the midterm, you have a future in this class. You can do it. You can keep going. You can let, you can let us pick you up if you feel a little bit down. You can observe that today's homework is a lot easier than last week's homework because we've kind of started a new unit of the class and things are going to get a little bit lighter for a bit. Um, you can hang in there. And keep doing the work, keep doing the homework, keep asking for help. You make it to the finish line in this class, you will not only do perfectly fine from a GPA and a grade perspective, but you will have learned something. And that really is my number one goal.